What's going on guys, Steve MP5 here, by way of Target Shooting Solutions, here at the Palmetto State Armory booth, where I'm here with Justin, and Palmetto's got some cool stuff coming out this year, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it, so Justin, thanks for having me here, and what do you got going on? Hey, so we got a bunch of stuff we're excited about this year, uh, first off we got our new 5.7 pistol, we're calling it the Rock. Uh, these are going to start at $499 for the base model, and then it's going to go up to $550 for an RMR cup and threaded barrel. These have a 23 round magazine, and they should be released here in the next three months or so. What, what I liked about this, just feeling it out there, is the trigger was, then the reset was some really surprisingly nice. I mean, sometimes you don't know, triggers are all over the place, but it is a really nice trigger. I was really surprised how, how short the reset was, and the pull weight was not heavy at all. And I do like that it just mounts directly, 507K mounts directly to the slide, no, no plates needed. So I think this is going to be a win for them for sure, especially with the threaded barrel. Yeah. And then next up, um, we've got our new long strip gas operated Jackal. It is um, a full one piece upper with adjustable gas system. It's got a side charging handle, and you can switch that to either side if you want. Um, now, this is going to be available with 556 as well as 300 blackout. The beauty of this is the system is contained completely within the upper receiver, so it'll go on any mil spec lower. These should be out within the next three months as well. Okay. Cool. Uh, moving forward, we got the 556AK. This is going to take AR-15 magazines. Um, we've got the dual HK style mag release, so you got a push button as well as a paddle. Uh, on top of this, what separates this from other AKs is it's going to have a last round bolt hole open feature. And it's just another step in the process of modernizing the AK platform. Yeah. Are we in and around, you said about $1,000 or so? so yeah, it should be close to our other AK line. Yeah, we're yeah. about 1000 somewhere in that price Yeah, range. and especially with, you know, with the drying up, it seems, of 762 by 39 with the Russian ban and all that. People have been doing more of the 5.56 AKs. We, we've sold a lot more in the shop yeah. because of that. So yeah, I think I think that that should be this should be a hot seller. I would imagine. Exactly. And another good thing about that is with it taking AR magazines, I know there are plans to move into 300 blackout AKs. Oh yeah. And that'll be really yeah. exciting. Yeah. And then this is the last one that we're really excited about. It's the crank. Uh, this is going to be a little further down the line, uh, but we do hope to get these out here in 2022. So this is going to be 545, and uh, yeah. What, what's really exciting to me about this is there, there's really no option on the market for a crank. So That's right. for, for when when this comes out, you know, this is this is it. Like, I mean, unless you get a parts kit or do something else, get some arsenal, chop it down or whatever. I mean, if you want a crank, if you want the 545, pistol setup to have that traditional crank look uh, this is it and this I mean I would imagine this is going to be when it's released a very very hot seller I'm gonna get one when it comes out because if you're into AKs which I am the crank is like an iconic AK so yeah th this is this is great this is great to see this come out so guys thanks for having me out here talk a little bit about what's coming out new this year can't wait to see it so right. thanks thanks for stopping by yeah, yeah thanks